Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece episode 579 review. Now, the fillers are done with. Now, we are back with the actual main story, which means that now I can start doing One Piece episode reviews once again. Now, I mean, just because, just guys, if you guys want to know my opinion on the filler, in my opinion, the filler, it was it was okay. You know, like, it wasn't right. No, no, it was kind of subpar. Yeah, it kind of subpar. But, um... The ending fight between Shuzo and Luffy, like what? Like really? <sighs> nah, like it? No, no, it it wasn't good. Like it just it it was not good. And I mean, if you liked OK Five, that's you. But my personal opinion, the you know giant gear second, like that giant spear. No, it was it was kind of lame. And the fact that that girl could survive inside Luffy while he was like, it, it was just weird. It was just so. Weird and it was so no, that simple. Um, and if you think otherwise, then fine. I mean, like, like, like in my opinion, like the best scene was when like you saw like like the actual like um like when they were going to hook around and use the actual submarine and try and say like fry pan and like we see Zora and Sanji like they're like they're like like Zoro's like running on top of the actual like side of the ship and like Sanji's doing like the actual skywalk and like they're like running like coincide like the air and shit like that was pretty damn cool. But in my opinion, that was the best scene of the, the entire filler. And today, when I say today, I mean like July 7th, I'm going to check out some of the scenes from the uh, One Piece uh, film movie Z, because I know that it's, you know, I, I know it's online somewhere. But uh, I'm going to watch the actual raw version, not the entire thing, but I, I want to see a few scenes here and there, how it looks like, and yada, yada, yada. So that being said, once again, this week's episode review of One Piece episode 579, of course... Look down in the look down in the description below for the link to this week's episode of One Piece, the preview of next week's episode of One Piece, and of course One Piece official. Now, that being said, first of all, like, overall this episode was actually very simple. Uh, it was basically okay. Now that we're done with the filler, we're gonna go to the main course, and now they wind up on like they see an island. The water is completely on fire, and they're seeing volcanoes. And they go to the island, and they meet up with the dragon. And then that's the way the episode was when it when it revolved the Straw Hats. Now there was a, there was a Dende Mushi call from someone who said that they were being chased by a samurai. And of course, this piques Zoro's interest. Like you know, like, like what, like <gasps> samurai? <Is> like, gonna... <laughs> like you see him holding uh, one of his swords. In fact, it was a sword, uh, uh, Meto Shui Sui. Or, you know, you know, I, you know, you don't talk about right, like the black sword, and. He remembers how when he was fighting against, uh, you know, uh, Ryoma, who, by the way, was in the original One Piece one shot, which was the, uh, you know, One Piece Wanted that Ichiro Oda did. Well, you know, like you, like you see him, and like he gives him Zoro the sword, and that sword was the sword of a samurai. So he knows. So Zoro is really, like, when it comes to samurai, he's like, yeah. And then we have Brooke give like a backstory about the samurai, about the Wano Kuni, which will play, you know, like that will play a role later on, obviously. And the reason why it says, Wano Kunia has been foreshadowed as of right now twice, okay? The first time was when we saw Ace, and Ace, well, no, or Oris Jr. And Oris Jr., his hat that Ace made him, he made in the Wano Kuni. That's number one. And number two is now, when we have Brook kind of lay down the samurai, who are, who are men who are soldiers of this country known as the Wano Kuni. And the Wano Kuni is guarded by the samurai and the samurai only. And not even government officials can involve themselves with the Wano Kuni. So they are an independent nation that separates itself from the world government. Which actually is, uh, actually, it's a pretty key thing. Because the world government comprises of like 100 plus nations. Like 190 some odd nations. Somewhere around there. But seeing that there's an, but seeing that in the new world, the most dangerous and the strongest part of their world. That there is an independent country. And it is protected by these soldiers known as Samurai. That you know they're going to be powerful as shit. And you know that at some point Zoro is going to go there. Alongside with the rest of the crew. So th that's a must. In fact, my prediction with the Wano Kuni is that the time skip. Because in my opinion, there will be a second time skip. And that second time skip may occur in the Wano Kuni. But that's my personal opinion. That's my own personal opinion. That's my own speculation. That's why I see things. Now... Aside from that, in this episode, 
we do see Smoker. Smoker, he is in the island where it's like constantly raining down lightning bolts. And he was right to assume that Luffy would, that, that Luffy was going to go there when he left Fisherman Island. But the problem was that they had no idea that, that Luffy and the guys were going to be sunk inside some underwater white storm that took them off course completely. And then they wound up inside. You know, like, like they wound up in, uh, you know, Punk Hazard. In fact, that's the way things go. Because the way this episode kind of went, it seemed as if, like, they wound up at Punk Hazard by chance. But it's kind of like that wouldn't be the case because if there's three log posts and if Luffy, and, 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 and if Nami is a good navigator and if Luffy's going to go follow the, the, uh, the actual log post that wiggles the most, then appropriately he would go to the island that's raining down lightning bolts. But the problem is that because there was filler, they had like mod up in some weird way. But in, but in the original manga, for those of you guys who actually don't read, for, for those of you guys who don't read the manga, the way it went down was that when they get sunk inside the white hole, and then the white hole gets kind of like nerfed off by the actual uh, by the island whales, and then the island whales they kind of take Luffy and the, and the rest of the guys up to the surface. They wind up already inside like the circle of fire where Punk Hazard is. So when they come out of the actual ocean, like when they actually come out of the surface, the sea's already on fire. That's how they wind up on Punk Hazard. And that's how they wind up going to Punk Hazard, as opposed to the island where it's constantly raining down lightning. So that's the way it was. Now granted, the thing here is that, you take it as you would, but in my opinion, the way it kind of portrayed itself in this episode, because of the filler, it kind of made, like, if you take it really serious, it kind of made Nami seem like a bad navigator. Because it's kind of like, wait a second, if you guys free this giant Pond's Fry, why wouldn't you follow the track that, that's already set for you for the island? And the fact that none of that, and, and the fact that none of the log posts are pointing to Punk Hazard, that's even more clarification that Nami would have been a bad navigator had the, had the story had actually gone this route, but it didn't. So if you're wondering or if you're feeling that way, then that's the reason why. The reason why was because they deviated completely because of the filler. But in the actual story, when they go to the punk hazard, the whales, they stop the actual white hole, they come up with the whales, and then bam, the sea's already on fire. And Luffy sees the island on the horizon, he's like, you know what, fuck it, let's go there. Ah, uh, yo, like, it's on fire, there's volcanoes, yeah, let's go there. Let, you know, like, let's go there. So that's the way it happens. Now, <sighs> granted, alright, aside from that, seeing the dragon, alright, so, like, we saw the Denden Mushi, we saw, you know, like, the, like the, 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 the Denden Mushi of someone, you know, saying, help me. Like, I need help. I'm being chased by a samurai. Then we hear the person die. The actual Den Den Mushi itself coughs up blood. And it's like, what the fuck? So, like, you know, like, that was crazy shit. <laughs> it really was. And the thing here is that once you get to the island, after, you know, like, they draw straws. And Usopp won, which, you know, in, in, in his case, he lost. And, of course, there's Zoro, Robin, and Luffy. And they're all on the Mini Mary, while Nami made a Milky Road, which, you know, by the way, you know, a cool thing that Nami can do, so Nami can use style and stuff now, just like Usopp. Well, Usopp, I don't know, because Usopp, I don't know if he retained any of the style and material. Like, I, like, I don't know if Usopp actually retained, like, that, you know, like, the uh, impact dial. Like, I I don't know. But, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever, it's, it's, not, it's not a huge deal, all right? But the thing here is that what ends up happening is that like we see them ride the Milky Road on the Mini Mary, and again Luffy, Robin, Zoro, Usopp, and now they're going to the island where you know we they see the volcano, and then they wind up meeting up across like they, they they see this sign Punk Hazard, and then Zoro cuts down the actual gates. They walk in there, hot, very hot. All right, the sea's on fire. All right, the gate itself is practically melting. Like the buildings inside were they 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 were melted. There's bones of giants. There's magma underneath them and shit. Under, 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 underneath the cracks uh, and the slate. And then what happens here is that they, you know, they, they look around. And all of a sudden they see this creature. And this creature is a fucking dragon, right? It's a fire-breathing big red dragon. A.K.A. in this sense, Igneal. Igneal, he's here, you know. Igneal's here. And now Zoro, and now it's going to be Robin, Usopp, Zoro, and Luffy versus fucking Igneo. So, fairy tale fans, let's see, let's see how shit gets down. Let's see how shit gets down when these four face Igneo 
a dragon that's OP as shit. All right, quote unquote OP as shit. All right, now <laughs> and 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 for those of you guys who don't read the manga, don't spoil it. All right, just please, please, God, do not spoil it. All right, please, I swear to God, if you guys spoil this shit, I'm gonna come to your house. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna give you guys spanking. I'm gonna spank you guys in the ass ten times. If you're a dude, no homo. If you're a girl, you deserve it. Fuck yeah, that's right. Now that being said. <laughs> Yo, don't front, don't front, you like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. But um but uh that being said, that being said, the key thing here about this whole entire episode, aside from the fact that they're seeing a dragon, aside from the fact that, that that they're on a new island, an uncharted island, and the fact that Smoker's coming with you know like with his G5 boys, who by the way, were in the midst of torturing a pirate, you know, pretty fucked up dudes, is that Nami, she noticed how on the horizon they're, the clouds look like arctic clouds, alright? Arctic clouds, not volcanic clouds, arctic clouds. And when the person said, it's cold, that's key. This leads to, this leads to something very, very, very poor and very major when it comes to this arc overall, the island itself. And we'll see where that goes, people. You'll see where that goes. But, my main focus, but, this, but this episode overall, in my opinion, it was okay. The pacing was fairly slow. The animation was okay. It wasn't that great. Um, I mean, I, I must say, I, I again, I did notice how, you know, the, uh, the chest size of Robin, mainly Robin, not Nami, but Robin was more, you know, uh, voluptuous in this case. It wasn't like in Fishman Island, because in Fishman Island, there was one episode where it was like, Robin, what the hell? Like, uh, yo, easy. Like, it, it was easy. But now it's more, I guess, appropriate by One Piece standards. Uh, I've, I'm, I'm also noticing how Tashigi has, has also gained uh, a few sizes, if you put it. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I'm a dude. I can't help notice these things, whether it's anime or not. I just can't help it. All right, I'm, I'm just saying. So I'm done. Uh, be sure to, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day.